I was doing all right. When the Moulin Rouge opened in 1955, visitors flocked to it. It made history as the first integrated hotel in Las Vegas. And in the 60s, community leaders signed an agreement there to end segregation at strip hotels and casinos. Alice Key remembers opening night. Well, it, was, it was absolutely a fabulous night. It was packed and jammed. It was totally integrated. And I guess there were more whites than blacks. Today, Sarah Ann Preddy and her family own the hotel. Yes, this is where the museum's going to be. We have a lot of history in here of uh, West Las Vegas, and um, not just blacks, everybody who participated in uh, the Moulin Rouge being a historic landmark. The Moulin Rouge Preservation Association got a $250,000 grant from the state for the museum. But work has been on hold while the hotel owners try to get financing to renovate the entire hotel, not just the area set aside for the museum. Well, I'm hoping uh, that we'll get it to where we want it by next year. Inside, changes would spruce up original features. Come out and this is going to be the casino, and this is where the original casino was. This is the original bar. Chandeliers and colorful murals on the wall are originals too. The pool area is still here. It was absolutely gorgeous during that time. And Pretty hopes stars will shine again in the hotel's showroom. That's uh, Gregory Hines and his brother. That's when they did their performance here. It, and it was a, such a beautiful place. They only had about five other hotels on the strip. And this hotel was equivalent to those hotels as far as being beautiful and built nice. And uh, they were all about on the same level. Despite nightly crowds, the hotel closed six months after it opened because of financial problems. Oh, okay. Operators have struggled here since then, and time is running out. The Preddies say if they can't get financing soon to start renovations, the Moulin Rouge may have to close once again. Well, I really enjoy doing it, and um, you know, I get tired sometimes, but I live and breathe the Moulin Rouge. Plus if she has her way, celebrating the hotel's heritage will give it a new beginning. And we think that, um, that this will be something that the whole city of Las Vegas will be proud of. And